Moving on to the installation of the cooler, overall it was a pleasant one and this is mainly due to the fact that you know you do get a metal back plate on the Intel platform and that yeah you do get that custom screwdriver needed for insulation in the box. And that to be honest you only do need to screw in two single screws. Now insulation starts with removing your old cooler and placing the included back plate under your board and through the CPU socket holes. Now once you've done this you want to place the plastic spacers onto the bolts of the back plate then add the mounting bars after deciding which orientation you want the cooler to be facing. Once you've done this you can fix the bars to the board with the four thumb screws and next you want to add a, a, yeah, a small amount of thermal paste to the CPU. Not to sure, recommend a small P, while really the line, rice or even the spread method will do just fine. The last step for insulation is to grab the included screwdriver and to screw down both the screws that are fixed to the cooler onto the mounting apparatus you've just set up on your motherboard. Now be sure to screw down the screws evenly and not to screw them down really tight, nor to break a sweat installing the cooler. Now as for mounting the fans, these simply clip onto the cooler, as I've shown you in the video, and if you have tall RAM, you can simply clip on the outer fan a little higher up. Once you've installed both fans, be sure to use the included PWM Y cable to connect both fans, then connect the one 4-pin connector into your motherboard's CPU fan connector.